Hi all, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with a uh, university in Western PA, USA. I work with batteries. I'm actually focusing on flow batteries, uh, zinc, brom uh, zinc bromide, zinc bromine flow batteries. But I also work heavily with lithium batteries. And uh, I have to laugh, when you get some of these batteries in from China and other places, these 3.7 volt lithium rechargeables, incidentally they don't have elemental lithium in them. The little coin and button batteries do, but, but not these rechargeables, the 18650. And where do those numbers come from? It's actually the dimensions of the battery. But I have to laugh. Some of them have on here 5,000, 8,000 milliamp hours. I don't think there's any that are really, even the highest quality, most expensive, that are above about 3,500 milliamp hours. Well, to actually determine what I have in the battery, here I have a uh, what's called the commercially available power juice. It's got two 18650s. I don't know what, uh, it's permanently sealed. I'd have to bust it open. I don't know what brand of batteries, but I know from working with them, they're, they're pretty decent. Uh, what I do is I hook up to a um, meter. I'll turn it around so you can see it. I get a current voltage. These are on eBay. And you can, let me turn it around. You can get the, the voltage. Now remember, there's an inductor in there on the motherboard, so you're going from a, maybe a, a 4.2 fully charged 4.2 volt. That inductor is taking you right up to uh, about 5.1 volts. Input output, and it tells you the time it's been running, and the milliamp hours, and uh, current flow. That's about 460 milliamps, a little under half an amp. Well. This enables me to determine the actual uh, milliamp hours. Now, what do I have it hooked up to? Ah, an LED. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, it's a 5 volt, 3 watt. And that's just perfect. This multi LED is just perfect for being able to determine what your milliamp hour will be. Now, sometimes I use power banks with. Uh, Oh, four batteries, two, three, four batteries. So here I've got a couple. And uh, if I had to give you an idea, I'd say you can run one for on a good 3.7 volt battery. Uh, you get about uh, an hour and a half. And then uh, the voltage and the power output will drop and uh, it'll shut off. And then, of course, you can come back and read your meter. So anyway, I'll give you an idea of uh, what I do. And I show students this is a good, efficient way to determine uh, milliamp hours. Um, the other way to do it is to hook them up to little DC motors, 3 to 5 volt motors. These are a little, uh, couple of uh, little water pumps. You can get them on eBay. They're cheap. And uh, sometimes I even run a little toy, a chassis, with a uh, little DC motor. But it's noisy. And uh, you got moving parts. You got to, you know, oil it. So you eventually you'll uh, uh, have to put a little maintenance in with it. So I go with these uh, lamps. Just an idea if you are figuring out how to measure. Incidentally, for these batteries, these micromoles, I'm getting about 700 milliamp hours. They're cheap enough, and for that, they're 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 fine. All right. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for my uh, zinc bromine flow batteries. Rechargeable cells actually, technically they're called. Bye for now.